Good evening once again. I'm Stephanie Rule. Russia's war on Ukraine is now entering day 45, and a new, even more deadly chapter in this conflict is beginning. And while the images we are about to show you are difficult to see, we have to. They are the only way to convey the brutality of this war. Ukrainian officials say this morning a Russian missile strike on a train station full of evacuees in eastern Ukraine killed at least 50 people, including five children. At least 100 others were injured. Sky News correspondent John Sparks was on the scene shortly after the strike. You can see some of the windows have been, some of the windows have been broken. There are shrapnel holes in the walls. Powerful, powerful blast. You know, and it must have been absolutely terrifying. I mean, there will have been thousands of people at the station. I mean, when we were here, we saw hundreds of people here on the benches, standing with their bags, waiting for the trains to come. There would have been people sitting here waiting, completely unaware of what was about to happen. Again, it's the same thing. Possessions that have been left. I can see fruit, apples, water, stuff that people have brought for the journey. Anybody would bring for a, for a long journey, and it is a long journey to Lviv. It's also blood. There's a small crater here, you can see, probably where the explosives hit. People just waiting for the train. I want you to look at that image. Maybe the most chilling image from the aftermath of the strike. If you look closely, you can see on the missile, it said the words, quote, for the children. That was painted on the side in Russian. The Pentagon says it has no doubt Russia carried out this brutal attack. Well, our assessment is that the uh, that th this was a Russian strike uh, and that they used a short-range ballistic missile to, uh, to conduct it. It is, again, of a piece of the Russian brutality in the prosecution of this war. Our own Gabe Gutierrez has more from Ukraine. This is the chaos right after the gruesome attack. The train station in eastern Ukraine, now the scene of a massacre. This was no military target. The missile strike left behind bodies surrounded by suitcases, a stroller. What did we do to deserve this, this man says? We're civilians. Just yesterday, the train station in the eastern city of Krematorsk had looked like this, packed with thousands of people, mostly women and children, refugees heading west, warned by authorities to leave ahead of Russia's new onslaught expected in the coming days. Ukraine's President Zelensky calling it evil without limits and renewing his urgent plea for more weapons from the U.S. and its NATO allies. We are told that we have to wait while we are losing hundreds of people every day from Russian strikes, he says. Russia denying responsibility for the attack and even claiming that Ukraine bombed its own people to make Moscow look bad. One Ukrainian lawmaker summed up their feeling right now like this. This is one of the next level of uh, Russian crimes. I cannot even describe in words what we feel here, especially given that we as government officials advise people to evacuate uh, eastern regions because we knew that Russians are coming there. There is nothing right now that is stopping Russia from creating more of these tragedies like in Kramators. The U.S. has announced that a Patriot missile defense system will be placed in Slovakia, which borders western Ukraine. It came after Slovakia said it would give Ukraine a Russian-made air defense system. Ukraine still pleading with the West for more advanced weapons. In an interview that will air on Sunday on 60 Minutes, President Zelensky described at this point what is at stake for his country. We are defending the right to live. I never thought this right was so costly. These are human values, so that Russia doesn't choose what we should do and how I'm using my rights. That right was given to me by God and my parents.